Hello everyone, I welcome you all to a new session of this channel. In today's lesson, we are focusing on calculating mean for group frequency distribution. In our earlier lecture, we studied mean, median, and mode. And in that time, we studied the simple format, the individual series related to mean. Today, we are studying it for grouped frequency distribution. For individual series, how we studied, we were having simple data. One, two, three, four, five. So for calculating these individual series, what we were doing, we were adding all of them. So we are adding one plus, two plus, three plus, four plus, five. And what we do, we divide them to five. Why? Because we are having five numbers here. It was very simple and we were receiving the mean. So it was easy. But in today's lecture, we are having, we are having a series of values, a series of numbers. And we have to find for this type of frequencies, the mean value. So what we do, if we are having class interval like this, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, and continuously going on to 59, and we are having your frequencies as 4, 6, 3, 9, 2. So in here, what we do? How we will find the mean for this? In here, we are having a formula. Mean is equal to summation of frequency multiplied by midpoint, all of them divided by summation of frequency. So if we find summation of frequency, what we do? We take the accumulation of all these frequencies. 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 9 plus 2. And the result is 24. Now, in here we need midpoint. Why we need? Because in here all of intervals are given. But we are not getting exact number from these intervals. For this reason, for this purpose, we will go for midpoint. How we will find the midpoint? In here, as we studied earlier, we, we add 10 plus 19, the lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. We take average of them and this would be as midpoint. If we add 10 plus 19 divided by 2, the result is 14.5. 20 plus 29 divided by 2 is equal to 24.5. And the all midpoints are in this format. After finding the midpoint, as the formula is saying that you have to have summation of frequency multiplied uh, to midpoint. So in here what we do, we multiply 4 to 14.5 because f multiplied by midpoint, f multiplied by midpoint, 6 uh, multiplied by 24.5, 3 multiplied to 34.5 and the result is here, f m, frequency multiplied to midpoint. After finding, because in here after uh, multiplying them, we are getting these values, and in here it is it is considering summation of summation of all these values. So for summation of that, we have to add all of them to each other, and the result is 818. Now we are having everything clear, and summation of frequency is 24. So everything according to formula is correct, and we have found all of them. And here what we do? We go with formula. This formula is for group data, for continuous series. Mean is equal to 818 divided by 24, and the result is mean is equal to 34.08. Now we have found this number, but in which class interval we can find this number? We are coming, is it between 10 to 19? No, it's not. Is it between 20 to 29? No, it is not. Is it between 30 to 39? Yes, it is 34.08. And our mean class interval is here. Mean class interval is here, and the exact mean digit is 34.08. This is very much easy and understandable. If, if we are having discrete series, because we are having individual series, individual is, series is very much easy. Discrete series is also very much easy because we will be given the numbers, not the class intervals. So we do not need to find the midpoints. In here, 
instead of midpoint in the formula we will be having x because there would be no need for midpoint as already they have given us the exact x observation number there is no class interval they may give us two three four six three so this data is given and their frequencies are four six three nine it means that two has been repeated four times three has been repeated six times the formula would be changed because in there we do not need any midpoint anymore only we need x and x is given so i explain this for individual series for discrete series and for continuous series i hope you've enjoyed this lesson if you are a subscriber of this channel it's awesome to see you again for more updates you can visit my channel and subscribe the channel have a good day take care and bye bye